Welcome everybody to today's Family Fun Fitness Challenge. Today we're going to play one of our favorite games, Tic-Tac-Toe, but we're going to play it with a twist. The fun twist includes the big hill behind me. We've come to one of our neighborhood parks where we have a huge hill and we have up on top our tic-tac-toe boards. I'll show you those in a minute. For our shapes, each of us have selected some items around the house that we're going to use as our X's or our O's. Aiden, what'd you select today? Football. All right. Joe, what'd you select for your a shapes? Dinosaur. Dinosaurs. Fantastic. Sophia, what do you have? Stuffed animals. Stuffed animals. And Lydia, you have? Clean socks, so much better than dirty socks. Very good. All right, so each of our players has their different shapes that they'll be using to fill out our boards. It's time right now to check out the boards and then I'll explain the rules of the game. So here we are up top, checking out our boards that we've made from just things laying around the house. For our first board, we have some lacrosse sticks that are just put together. And over here, we have some exercise bands that we've pieced together. As you can see, we are way up top on this hill. This is gonna be a great training exercise that's really gonna help us develop our athleticism and our fitness levels. Okay, we're back down at the bottom of the hill here, ready to get going. Former Olympic great Frank Shorter famously noted that hills are speed work in disguise, and he couldn't have been more correct. With benefits like power, strength, speed, and even injury prevention, hills have a place in nearly every athlete's training program. There are three different types of hill training. You have the long hill, the short hill, a little bit more endurance in both of those, and today, as you're gonna see, our hill sprints. Each offers benefits that'll help you accomplish your, girl, your goals involving fitness and involving all different types of fitness levels. Today, we're gonna focus on our hill sprints, and unlike the long and short we, uh, hills, we're gonna make sure that we're running up for a couple of seconds, and we're gonna be running, how fast, Joe? Fast, super fast. We're gonna be sprinting as fast as we possibly can be today. This is gonna help us increase our stride power, improve our running efficiency, and it's gonna help strengthen our muscles, bones, ligaments, and tendons. For those of us that are missing the power training movements of the gym, sprinting uphill against gravity is the next best thing. And what better way to do it than with a little bit of fun playing that's what we're talking about. Okay, let's see who's gonna go first. We're gonna start by little rock, paper, scissor action. Oh, we got some. All right, here we go. First person, grab your shape. We are ready to go. First people are up. Now, as the first person goes, the second person is gonna get over here and work on a little bit of agility moves up through our, our hurdles and through our cone bubbles. So here we go, on your mark. Get set, go! There they go up the hill. As they go up the hill, you can see Joe and Sophia are down here working on some agility movements. As soon as Aiden is done and Lydia's done, the next ones can go. There goes Sophia and Joe. You see that Aiden and Lydia already ready. Oh, we're we're working, we're trying to get going. Joe's working his way up this hill. Let's see how we're making out on top of the hill. Sophia hustling down and here comes Joe all the way down. Come on, Joe. Let's go. From top of the hill, here we are as our action continues. Sophia making her way up the hill as fast as she possibly can. She's got her stuffed animal in hand. And she's putting it in. It looks like a little bit of a strategy here. And here comes Joe. Joe's working. He's got to block Aiden's footballs with his dino. Let's see where he's going to put it. Oh, Joe, looks like you got that one there. Let's see. Here comes Lydia up the hill. Oh, darn. Uh-oh, she blocked you. All the way back down, Lid. Hurry up. And here comes Sophia with her stuffed animal. Will she have a play or will she have to go back down the hill? Here comes Aiden, Whoa. winner! 
Aiden beat Joe, and there goes Sophia back down the hill. Even though Joe did not come out on top, he's still gonna finish up and fill up his spaces. Come on, Joe. Let's go, Lydia. Lydia's working hard. This is supposed to be a sprint. Let's go, Lyd. Oh, Lydia puts in a good position to maybe win this game. Good job, Joe. Way to work. What a great workout for today. Hope everybody enjoys this fun family fitness challenge. I know it was tiring. I know we put in a lot of work. Hopefully you'll get a chance to play a second round of this one. Have your winners play against each other. Have whoever lost both rounds play against each other. And let's see if we can find a champion for the day. Everybody have a wonderful day. Enjoy your weekend.